Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Keely. If you are new to my channel, I want to welcome you and I want to welcome everybody that has been watching my channel. I want to welcome you guys back. Thank you so much for being here. So today I'm going to show you guys my plants that I repotted in the month of January. Um, I did repot two plants, so I'm going to update you on how they are doing. And I did repot two plants, I think it was my couple videos ago. So in, those are my February repots. So in March, I will update you guys on how those plants are doing. So I will insert some clips of when I was repotting these plants. Let's get started with the first plant that is going to be my Euphorbia. So in this video, I did take you guys with me to, I think it was Lowe's, and we picked out the, the Euphorbia, and then we picked out um, a pot, and then we came back to my house and repotted the plant. Um, I will link that video up here if you guys missed it, but I will also insert a clip. Of when okay, you guys, so we are back at my house now, and this is the Euphorbia that I chose. Um, oh my goodness, let's look at these roots. Let me see if I can show you these roots. So I think that's enough soil in there. Let's see how this looks. Okay, you guys, so here are the two Euphorbia that um, I repotted. I think they look better in um, separate pots. Okay, so here are the first two plants, the Euphorbia, that I repotted. Um, here is one of them. So this is the one that had the um, piece missing off the back, and it's doing okay. Um, you know, as it's only been a month, so not too much um, growth on this plant, but it's doing great. Um, since I have repotted it, I have watered it twice, and it is due for um, a watering today, so I will go ahead and do that um, once we are done here. And um, so, so far so good in, on this Euphorbia. And then um, this is the other one that came in the same pot. And as you can see, it has not bloomed yet, um, and I doubt it will bloom, but um, that's okay with me. The plant is doing good, and this one is also due for a watering. I watered these plants um, at the same time, so um, they've both been watered twice, and they are doing good. Um, I will also insert a picture of where they sit in my house, just so you get an idea. And these plants um, are near a south-facing window, and I also do have a grow light on them. Um, I'll have to insert a picture of the lamp that I found um, to put the grow light in. It's a super cool lamp and I went to a, it was like a, kind of like a little thrift store in someone's garage and she found this um, lamp for $20 and she told me that she would take $15 for it and I only had a $20 bill and she only had um, a $10 bill so she told me that she would just give it to me for $10. I was happy that I got it for $10 because it's a really cool lamp. But um, these plants do sit um, near the south facing window under that um, lamp that has a grow light in it. So um, I think they're doing pretty good. Um, I don't have any complaints. Okay, so this is where my euphorbia sit in my house. So this window right here behind us is a west facing window, but then if you pan over this way, that is my south facing window. So they do get the best of the south and west facing windows, and the light is just starting to come in on them, so um, they do get a lot of sunlight. And then, as I said, this is my um, grow light that stays on them for a good portion of the day as well. 
they are really cool euphorbia and they do add um, to my cactus corner so I am happy that I bought these plants so these are the first two plants that I repotted now I'm going to show you my begonia that sits up in my bathroom I will insert the clip here of when I was repotting that begonia so the color is kind of fading out of the leaves um, it does have some dry leaves here that are just um, dying off like that um, it is in this small little pot for this big huge plant and even though it is growing new leaves I just thought that it was time to give this plant a new pot so hopefully um, this plant recovers um, I'm sure it will but only time will tell Okay, you guys, so as you can see um, a little bit, here is my begonia that I repotted. And I don't like really moving it around too much, but I want to show you guys what it looks like. Some clips of the begonia, um, just so you can get the full picture of it. Um, but here it is. So it's pretty tall. And it is doing very well on the, um, on the moss pole that I staked it on. Um, it does have new growth and it seems to, you know, be doing very good. That is such an easy grower for me. Um, I really haven't had any problems with it. Some leaves have um, crisped up on the edges and um, fallen off. But this plant I've had for a year, so, um, you know, I think that's to be expected. But as you can see down here in the bottom, it is growing um, a whole new little plant. And um, so I was happy to see that. And it seems to be growing and thriving much better in the new soil and being repotted. And I know um, one day I'm going to have to cut this plant back and put it in a bigger pot. But for right now, I'm loving how it's looking um, on the moss pole and um, it really does love that spot up there in my bathroom and the only thing that i am dreading is we are currently looking for a new house because the house that we're in now we are renting so we are going to purchase a home and i'm not going to have that spot in my bathroom anymore um i don't know what she's going to do i'm going to have to find the perfect spot in our new house for this plant and cross my fingers that she loves it as much as she loves the spot up in my bathroom so um we haven't found a house yet we've been looking we have found some that we really like that are really cool um, but they just didn't work with you know the schooling for my kids but as i was looking around these homes um of course our plant minds go right to um, oh, that window is huge to put plants in or there's a lot of sunlight that comes in on this window and not that I'm buying a house for my plants, but um, let's let the train pass. But I thought that um, from this point on house hunting, I will um, take you guys with me and just show you certain parts of the home that I think are awesome for plants. I did see one house that had like a little, um, I guess it would be called a bay window. It had like a bench at the window and there was so much light that was coming in on that, um, that bench. And the first thing my husband said was how many plants can you fit on that bench so um, I thought that it would pr be pretty cool to take you guys with me when I house hunt and just show you different spots in the different homes that we're looking at of where it would be awesome to put plants so if that's something you guys are interested in either give this video a thumbs up or let me know down below if it's something that you'd be interested in but let's get back to this beautiful begonia um, so as I was saying, she is doing very good. Um, and I, I just love this plant. It's 
truly one of my favorite plants and I'm so happy that I have it and I'm happy that I repotted it. I think she likes um, being staked up on the moss pole, but I know some people think that it's better to, you know, chop it down and make it a fuller plant. But right now in the spot that I have her, um, just to be a fuller plant, like a more bushy plant, um, would not work in that spot. And I think that um, putting her on the moss pole was the best idea. But um, I just love her. I love this plant. So um, I just wanted to update you guys on the two plants that I repotted in January. I thought it'd be a fun idea to um, just show you how the plants are doing because a lot of times we repot our plants and then we don't update you guys on how the plant is doing, if it lived, if it likes the pot it's in, um, if it's, you know, thriving or, you know, what's going on with it. So um, that is why I chose to do this video um, on my channel. And if you guys like this concept, of me repotting and then showing you how the plant's doing like a month later um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more plant videos from me don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I just want to thank everybody so much for watching and until next time guys bye